Hi all. Okay, in this last template example, we'll be doing number five. And it's basically the same as number four. But we're creating two objects. We create one object here. We create a second object here. The first time we create an object of this class, we create it with an int and a float. The second time we create an object with this class, we call it with two floats. So that would be the idea of using the template. We create one class but we don't know what variable types are coming. We don't know what to put here. Is this going to be an int or is this going to be a float? Is this going to be an int or is this going to be a float? Yeah. You know, of course we could always just write two classes. But uh, the whole idea of a template is just writing one class and using a template to help you determine what data types are coming. So let's run this and see what it does. Uh, I'm already in number five folder. We'll compile it and then we'll run it. Okay, so Okay, so the first time it adds up these two numbers and prints out 20.1, same as the previous one. Second time it adds up these two numbers, 10, 7, 10, 1, and prints out 20.8. Okay, so let's just run through this real quick. In main, this line runs, creates an object using this class. We don't know what the data types are, so we're using a template. Int comes here, float comes here, a 10, 10.1. So int comes into here, float comes into here, this is an int, this is an int, this becomes int, float comes into here, float comes into here, float comes into here, and then the 10 comes into here. 10.1 comes into here and then 10 comes into here, 10 comes into here and stored over here and then 10.1 comes into here, 10.1 comes into here, 10.1 comes into here, 10.1 here then we call on my object we call my function we call my function we add the two together 10 10.1 and the uh, total is stored here we set total to be a double here And then we print out the total here. And that's how we get 20.1. Here's the uh, here's the part where we're really using the template. We call the same class, but with different variable types. 
So the first time we called it was with ints and floats. Second time we called it with two floats. So we create another object. We create my object two. But this time we've got two floats. 10.7, 10.1. So 10.7 comes into here, so this becomes a float. 10.1 comes into here, so this becomes a float. Float, float, 10.7, 10.1. Set the variables up, float, float. 10.7, 10.1, 10.7, and then down here on my object 2, we call my function. We call my function adds up the two variables 10.7, 10.1, stores the total here, then total is created as a double up here, then prints out total, and that's how we get 20.8. So the whole idea is my class, we don't know what type of variables are coming. We don't know what to put here, ints or floats or what. So we stick this template line in front of it and we say uh, we'll let you know what the data types are later when we create an object. When we create the object we send it this line here. Say okay first one's going to be int, second one's going to be a float. Second time we create it the first one's going to be a float and the second one is going to be a float. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand what a template is. So feel free to ask questions, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.